She drove a big old Lincoln with suicide doors and a sewing machine in the back and a light bulb that looked like an alligator egg was mounted up front on the hood. And she had an Easter bonnet that had been signed by Tennessee Ernie Ford. And she always had sawdust in her hair. And she cut two holes in the back of her dress and she had these scapula wings that were covered with feathers and electrical tape. And when she got good and drunk, she would sing about Elkhart, Indiana, where the wind is strong and folks mind their own business. And she had at least a hundred old baseballs that she'd taken from kids. And she collected bones of all kinds. She lived in a trailer under a bridge. She made her own whiskey and gave cigarettes to kids. And she'd been struck by lightning seven or eight times. And she hated to mention the rain. And she made up her own language. She wore rubber boots. She could fix anything with string. And her lips were like cherries. And she was stronger than any man. And she smelled like gasoline and root beer fizz. And she put mud on a bee sting I got at the crick. She gave me my very first kiss. And she gave me my very first kiss. She's just a fine young thing. Someday she'll wear my ring. Well, people sometimes ask me if I have any words of advice for young people. And here are a few simple admonitions. Never interfere in a boy and girl fight. Beware of whores who say they don't want money. The hell they don't. What they mean is they want more money, much more. These are the most expensive whores what can be got. If you're doing business with a religious son of a bitch, Get it in writing, because his word isn't worth shit. Not with a good lord telling him how to fuck you on the deal. If, after having been exposed to someone's presence, you feel as if you lost a quart of plasma, avoid that presence. You need it like you need pernicious anemia. We don't like to hear the word vampire around here. We're trying to improve our PR. Interdependence is the key word. Enlightened interdependence life in all its rich variety take a little leave a little however 
by the inexorable logistics of the vampiric process, they always take more than they leave. Avoid fuck-ups. Fools, I call them. You all know the type. No matter how good it sounds, everything they have anything to do with turns into a disaster. Trouble for themselves and everyone connected with them. A fool is bad news. And it rubs off. Don't let it rub off on you. Do not proffer sympathy to the mentally ill. It is a bottomless pit. Tell them firmly, I am not paid to listen to this drivel. You are a terminal fool. Otherwise, they make you as crazy as they are. And. Above all, avoid confirmed criminals. They are a special malignant strain of fools.